Okay. So this message goes to all the Africans and the Africans in the diaspora. Okay. I want you to see for yourself what these Christian pastors, the things that they don't teach you. Okay. These are things that neither Bishop Oedepo, Pastor Chris, Bishop T.G. Jakes, Pastor Gino, Joel Austin, including all these uh, famous uh, pastors or church leaders that I've not mentioned, these are the things that they will never teach you or they will never talk about. And they tend to turn a blind eye to certain things. Okay, now, when you look at this Bible, it's not everything that is in the Bible which talks about spiritual things. Certain scriptures in the Bible, they are purely based, purely based on the culture of the Africans. We, the African people, and not any other people. Okay. Now, um, if you go in the book of Ruth, chapter 3, verse 1 to 10, this is where you're going to find the entire story in the book of Ruth, chapter 3, verse 1 to 10. But um, I'm, go I'm, I'm going to start from Ruth chapter 3, verses 6 to 9. Okay, so this here, Ruth chapter 3, verse 1 to 10, this is where Ruth was instructed by her mother-in-law to go and lie down at the feet of her husband uh, to be, in short, Boaz. Okay, so now when you read in the book of Ruth chapter 3, verse uh, 6 to 9, it says, So... She went, she went down to the threshing floor and did just as her mother-in-law had instructed her. When Boaz had eaten and drank and he was in contented mood, he went to lie down at the end of the heap of grain. Then she came stealthily and uncovered his feet and lie down. So she had to uncover the feet of Boaz and they are on, and later on, lie down at the feet of Boaz. Okay. At midnight, the man was startled and turned over. And there, lying at his feet, was a woman. Lying at his feet was a woman. He said, Who are you? And she answered, I am Ruth, your servant. Spread your cloak over your servant. For you are next of kin. For you are next of kin. What was Ruth asking for here? Marriage. You are next of kin. While she was lying at the feet of Boaz. Now, this expression that you are seeing here, or re you read here, this is African culture. And it is Bantu culture. Now, in Bantu culture, if you go, if, if, you, if you come in Zambia, in Bantu culture, the custom by which a woman lies down at the feet of a husband-to-be is what we call in Bemba, or is, they call it in Bemba, Hukukunkula. So Hukukunkula, this is a custom or an expression that a woman portrays in the presence of a, a husband-to-be as well as all those guys that attend... Um, have attended um, her function. This expression is mostly done during marriages by, by women. It is a symbol of submission. And this custom did not come with, with the white man or the Europeans. And this, this custom, this is not Chinese culture. And this is not Indian culture. And this is not uh, the culture of a modern man in, in the so-called Middle East, the Ashkenaz Jews, who claims to say that they are, they, the Bible is theirs. This is Bantu culture. This is Bantu culture. So I want you to read on your own Ruth chapter 3 verse 1 to 10 and understand this clearly. Then look at these, these the, the videos that you are seeing here. The videos here. This is the culture of the African people. This is the culture of the Bantu, the Bantu-speaking people on the continent of Africa. Reason being, the Bantus, they are the Hebrews of the Bible. This is Bantu culture.
penalty is pain, or in this case, heavy. So most of these things, the explanations about um, this custom of uh, Ruth, where she had to lie down at the feet of her husband to be, is in this book. This book is entitled "The Africa's Rich Biblical Cultural Concepts," and this is why you can you're going to find uh, the explanations in details. This is a book that I would love each and every Christian to read so that you judge certain things on your own. You judge them. You shouldn't just be going to church and you, you don't know certain, certain things they are left out. You, you are going to church blindly. Oh, begin to understand what you are reading. Okay. Because the Bible is a Negro book. A book of the Negroes. It's a book of the Africans, Americans. A book of the African people, the Bantu Negroes on the continent of Africa. So what you are going to do is, please, keep on sharing. Keep on sharing. This is, this is, this is what I want uh, people to see these things. The entire world should see this explain these, these explain Even the people in Europe, they read certain things which they, and yet they don't know that they exist. On the continent of Africa. Even people that live in America, in UK, Australia, uh, including some parts of the African continent. So you just, we keep on carrying the Bible and yet we don't know that these customs, they are alive on the continent of Africa. And the custom, this custom, the, the custom, the expression that Ruth portrayed in the Bible, it predates colonialism. Before a white man came on the continent of Africa, we had these customs. <laughs> 